Hundreds of millions of your tax dollars are sitting in special funds intended for everything from affordable housing to clean water, parks, and roads. Gina Mangieri is always investigating and wanted to know why the money isn't being spent faster on the things it's supposed to fix. High balance special funds are a red flag to taxpayer advocates and a ripe target for lawmakers needing to balance budgets. We take a look at what's going on with some of Honolulu County's biggest funds. Recently, Always Investigating covered efforts to spend tens of millions of dollars that have built up in county affordable housing funds. The Blangiardi administration saying they're pushing to get projects off the ground. Affordable housing money is just the tip of the iceberg. There are hundreds of millions in unspent special funds at the city and county of Honolulu. When you add together all of them, it's $411 million. That's, that's uh, you know, a lot of money. Balances in all of those special funds increased by $33 million this past year. Why? Why, why are we squirreling away more money and not using it? We're supposed to be using it for the benefit of the people. We asked those in charge of the purse strings what they want to see happen at the different departments that are in charge of administering each special fund. We'd like to um, see the monies uh, spent for the purposes set forth, but it's gonna take time because um, on top of that, we have day-to-day uh, -day priorities that we're working to execute on behalf of the mayor and his administration. Bond-funded capital projects, debt service, and big projects like roads carry high ongoing balances, but do turn over quite a bit with every big project. We wanted to know more about the mid-range accounts that have built up tens of millions over time, despite a noble purpose they're supposed to be spent on. Things like the Clean Water and Natural Lands Fund, with about $40 million at the end of the last fiscal year, and a dearth of projects qualifying for spending. I think... Um... The applications have been limited over the years, uh, but I, I do know that they have two, maybe three in progress right now. I believe the, the commission is looking at, um, you know, reasonably and prudently broadening the scope of use of funds. Uh, you know, it's always going to be centered around conservation of lands. He says they're looking at ways to legislate changes, but it may have to be through charter amendments. Another biggie? The nearly $8 million highway beautification special fund, about half targets abandoned cars. A large um, part of that budget is our towing contract. So that is intended to remove abandoned and derelict vehicles off the road. And, and also to remove, we, we conduct an auction periodically. So any non-auctioned um, vehicles are towed and stored. They're having to do that thousands more times every year than just a few years ago. Meanwhile, far fewer residents are using the free junk vehicle program, which can get an unneeded car out of your driveway lickety split. We're trying to get the public to not just abandon their vehicles on the side of the street, but to actually let us know so that it can be properly taken care of and addressed. Whether it's roads and cars, land and streams, or affordable housing, taxpayer advocates say either spend it more quickly on the targeted purpose or... Get rid of the special funds and, uh, you know, have the departments come back to the city council every year and, and justify what they've done. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.